why I'm here to say today, Father's turn, Son's turn, interface, forgive. That God wants to turn the hearts of the fathers towards the children and hearts of the children back towards the Father. All this disobedience, all this lack of respect for authority, lack of respect for honor, it can be tracked to one place. And it's where children have not been corrected, they haven't been lamented for, they haven't been accurately cried for, they haven't been seated into the Word of God, which will birth the fear of God. That the fear of the Lord is the beginning of all wisdom. And see the greatest awakening in the male-male relationship. Before we work on the male-female relationship, we must work on the father-son relationship so the father can get himself together and impart that togetherness and that in orderness with his children, and in particular his sons. And I say there's nothing wrong with our children that cannot be recovered by fathers, can't be recovered by the father-son relationship. It's very difficult without the Holy Spirit. It's next to impossible without prayer. But with prayer, the Holy Spirit will activate the providential move of God, the sovereignty of God. And I'm very interested in seeing the laws change to judge the law without judging our society at large that things have fallen away from why the law was created. It is created for the lawless. But when we have pornography out there and we have opulence out there and then we look one way and then see another, so we put all this pornography out there and then we see the rape, but we don't see the pornography. And then we make all the money in the penal institution off the young man, but nobody has dealt with Madison Avenue. Nobody's dealt with Babylon. Nobody's dealt with these things. And then we act like God ain't watching. My wife always tells me, baby, give God room to move. We must be patient in our praying. We must be fervent in our praying. We must be uh, lamenting. This must grieve us before we begin to tackle it. And we must go on to the end. We can't tackle it every now and then. And do we care through to the other side? Do we just touch it and say we've done it right? Or can we care until the change comes? Can we fast until the change comes? Can we give till the change comes? If we have revival in the land and revival does not include justice, that's not revival God's way. God wants the land healed. God wants the people healed. And the enemy is the devil. The enemy is the devil. It's not a people group, it's the devil. And the devil. we would humble ourselves and turn back to God. God will heal our land. God never not hear a lament or a cry or a tear or a fast or a prayer. I pray our young children would do it. If we would examine ourselves, we would not be judged. And then we'll no longer will we be critical. We must learn to put away the critical finger and let him give God room to move.